Gianna Han, you're on with Garnet. Go ahead. Hi, Garnet. I was just wondering, as um, a veteran with a relatively successful NHL career, what makes the Flyers who are in a rebuild state a destination that was desirable to you? You know, there's a, there's really a lot of things that go into it. Um, when I look at it, it's an, it's an organization that really wants to improve, um, has that mindset right now that, you know, how, I, I don't want to put a label like a rebuild, but it's one that wants to continue to get better um, and a lot more competitive than they were last year. And so that's exciting with a group that is willing to put in the work to do that, um, you know, being a big part of it as well. And as you said, uh, you know, I'll be one of the more veteran players in the team with, with games played, but being able to take what I've learned throughout my career um, and try and put it into a, you know, a scenario or a, a position where guys can take things from it and, and I'll learn from them and, and we'll continue to grow really together. Follow up, Gianna. Yeah, um, Danny Breyer was laughing at himself a little bit because he kind of thought he was out of the race with you, I guess. Um, can you share a little bit about what that process was like, you know, working with him, getting to know him and how you decided to come here? Yeah, it was, I mean, it's, you know, you look at it as a whole. This organization has been really tough to play against my entire career. Um, and now they're in a spot. And, and I think, you know, our conversation mimicked that was, they want to get back to that position where they're really difficult to play against um, and build up into a competitive team or more competitive team. And so that's a, that's something that I, I take a lot of pride in is being difficult to play against. And, you know, I'm, I'm super excited to get that opportunity, especially in this organization with the flyers, where I think that, you know, especially with everything that Danny said is to get back to where they want to be. Um, and, yeah, it was, uh, free agency was a little different than, than past um, when I had it four years ago. And to be able to get the opportunity to play here was, um, was really exciting. Adam Kimmelman, you're on with Garnet. Go ahead. Yeah. Hi, Garnet. Welcome to Philadelphia. Um, kind of going, touching back to something you said before about being one of the more veteran guys on the team. Is that a new role for you where you can be sort of an older voice in the room? I mean, you're not an old guy by any means, but you do have more experience than a lot of the guys that you're going to be playing with. Is that a new role for you? First off, thanks. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, it's definitely, it's, I think it's, it's a little different. Um, I've been really fortunate to play with a lot of successful guys in this league guys who've won stanley cups um and and awesome leaders and you know I, i've been on you know as you look at it i've been on older teams i haven't been i think i've been you know just maybe above the average age of, of almost every team that i've been on and now i'm on the other side of the spectrum there it's you know i'm i'm one of the older guys as you said but you know i i, I would love to say still in my prime too it's one of those things i've i've tried to pick up lots of things from the players that I've been able to play against or, or sorry, play with um, and find out what it takes to be successful, what it takes to get a group to pull together to get where they want to be. Um, and so that's something I'm, I'm excited to, to take that step into that position. Um, one that I, like you said, probably haven't had a as prominent talking role in a room. Um, I've been more of a listener, um, but that's something that I think that, this opportunity will, will really um, be in front of me. Jordan Hall, you on with Garnet, go ahead. Hey Garnet, thanks for doing this. You mentioned the Flyers being a tough team to play against in the past. I, I know you've had some good battles with Sean Couturier. I, I was wondering what was it like going up against him and are you looking forward to getting to know him and play with him now? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, for Sean and a lot of the guys, I think, yeah, where it's a lot better to be on the same side um, after battling against those guys for so many years. Uh, and I'm, you know, I'm excited to, to get to know Sean and, and see him as a player on, on the other side. It's, you know, it's always difficult to go up against him. Um, and so to see him, you know, especially in, in training camp and as we get throughout the season, really, uh, you know, be competitive and, and battle in practice, but then, you know, be able to celebrate when he, when he does something on the ice that's positive. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. Any other questions for Garnet? Ariel Melendez? You're on with Garnet. Go ahead. 
Hey, Garnet, uh, welcome to Philadelphia. Uh, before you had that late season trade to Boston, you spent, you know, quite a couple of years in Washington playing with another one of the, you know, kind of top goal scorers in the league in Alex Ovechkin. What, just what was that kind of like to maybe learn from him, play with him? And now that you're going to be facing him quite a bit, you know, are you looking forward to maybe having to block some of those tough shots? Uh, I, you know, I don't think there, there's another player like Ovi. Um, I, I think he's the greatest goal scorer of all time. And yeah, for those three and a half years, I was able to play on the same side of him. It was, uh, it was a lot more fun to, to see him take that one time or see that iconic shot of his uh, and celebrate the goals. And now it's going to be, you know, I've, this will be my fourth team in, uh, in my career. So I'm getting more comfortable with playing against guys that, that I've played with. Um, but he's one you're always going to have to pay attention to. Um, there's a lot of high skill in this league, but, but I don't think there's a goal scorer like him. Gianna Han, you're on with Garnet. Go ahead. When you were looking to learn a little bit more about the Flyers, um, who did you reach out to? And are you familiar with any of the guys on the team or in the organization? Yeah, I, uh, I don't, you know, I'm not really that familiar with any of the guys on the team right now. I had reached out to a few guys who had played here. Um, you know, I reached out to a few guys that played under torts and tried to get more of a gauge of, you know, how, how they liked every part of it, um, the city, the organization, uh, you know, the training facilities, really everything. And, and I heard unbelievable things. Um, and, that, and that goes for the coaching staff up to management and, and how everyone was treated. I mean, that was really exciting to hear. And at the same time, talking to them saying, you know, feeling wanted, feeling like there was a lot of interest and then hearing all the positive things about the organization that just made me even more excited about that. Jordan Hall, you're on with Garnet. Go ahead. Hey, Garnet. Uh, you mentioned some of the, the guys you reached out to about John Tortorella. I was just wondering which players were they and, and what was the overall feedback that you got? Yeah, uh, it was, it was a long list to be honest with you. Um, and it was, you know, I talked to a lot of guys from different stages um, in their career and different teams uh, that they had played for him. And, you know, it was, it was a lot of what you, what you hear from guys who play for him now. It's a very honest coach, um, you know, not someone who's going to sugarcoat things, but it's going to demand the best out of you um, effort wise too. And I think that's going to go really hand in hand with being a competitive team and getting, you know, it's getting to this process where, you know, every game you want to build your game out throughout the season. Um, you want to be better than the game prior and you want to continue that. So, you know, I, I heard get ready for camp. Um, Cause I don't think there's another one like it, but I think, you know, once you put that effort in, you have that willingness to, to work hard to get to that goal that you, you achieve within that room. It, it makes it all worth it. Do we have time for two more questions? Ariel Melendez, you're on with Garnet. Go ahead. Hey, Garnet. Uh, your style of play is kind of that very physical, chippy, kind of get under your skin type of, you know, type of method. How well do you think that's going to fit in with this type of fan base that kind of seems to love those type of players? I, I, I hope really well. Um, yeah, it's, as you said, I think that's something that I've tried to find my role throughout my career um, in this league. And and I've landed on, you know, being difficult to play against. And I, you know, I, I'd love to say competitive, um, getting their guys' skins, but being hard to play against and consistent. Um, it's a long season. It, you know, 82 games is is a long time, and it's one that you have to to get better throughout the season um, to be able to grow as a team and, and individually. You have to be consistent, and that's something that I've tried to continue to work on throughout my career. But you know, I I hope that consistency plus um, everything you said, I hope that goes, uh, you know, well for this organization. And, and I hope the fan base uh, is excited about, you know, as excited about me being here that as I am. Any last questions for Garnet? All right. Well, Garnet, thank you very much for your time today. Welcome. To Thanks a lot. Oh, thank you.